Okay, so this program uh, is program two, and it says write an application where the user enters two numbers which have a data type is double and prints the sum difference and product of the two numbers. I think I'm gonna make the data type ints because I did doubles up in this one. Um, and then I can show you how to cast information. Well, no, because we don't know. No, I'll just make it ints because we haven't done that yet. So when we did it on this one. So, so we want to be able to enter two numbers and print the sum difference in product. So sum is adding the two numbers. Difference is subtracting the, the numbers and getting an answer. And then product is multiplying the two numbers. Okay. So I'm going to just call this one main sum difference product and then sum difference product. So file new. Say main sum difference product. Okay, and then right click new Java class and call it sum difference product. Okay, so like last time, we need to import java.util.scanner and we'll create our uh, sum difference product my sum difference product equals new sum difference product I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit and then we'll do our scanner my scanner equals new scanner system dot in Okay, and so we have to ask the user for two numbers. So, and we'll make them ints this time, so you can see the next int method. So we'll say system dot out dot print ln. You know, please enter number one, and we'll say int number one equals my scanner dot next int. Notice the I and int is uppercase there. This would allow you to enter an integer into a uh, into number one. And now we'll enter it into number two. Okay. So what are we calculating for? We're calculating for sum. So we need to set the sum. So I'm going to say my sum difference product dot set sum and I'm gonna pass in number one and number two same things goes for my sum difference product dot set difference and I'll pass in number one and number two. Finally, my sum difference product dot set product. Same thing, we pass in number one and number two. So these are our, our uh, mutator methods, okay? Something's going to change in this method, and what's going to change is the, the sum value is going to get set. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here with public void set sum. You got to pass in int, or we got to accept that in int number one and number two because it's already being passed in. And then I say my number one equals number one. My number two equals number two. 
and sum is equal to my number one plus my number two. So there's errors here, Very, uh, cannot find symbol variable my number one. Well, we have to define it in here, okay? So we'll say int my number one and my number two. And sum and difference, and I'm just doing this ahead of time, and product, because those are the variables that we're going to use here, okay? Now, I usually like to do all my set methods and then afterwards all my get methods, but you could you could scatter it. You could say set, sum, get sum, set, difference, get difference, but I'm just going to do, you know... In this, the, 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 the order of your methods does not matter. What matters is the order that you call them in, in main. Okay, main is like your interface. Now, again, you guys are used to having nice, pretty interfaces with input boxes where you can type like your name and address and all this stuff and the click, click, click uh, the submit button. That would be way more advanced than where we want to be. And so everything we do, our, our interface is this stuff down here where we're just entering information. And this is all we'll do at the high school level. You won't get into, you know, all the, all the fancy object-oriented stuff with uh, GUIs, basically. GUIs are graphical user interfaces. You won't get into that until way, way, way later on, okay? And that'd be like college level stuff. It's more difficult. But anyway, here, notice my set sum method. The error went away because I created it and I passed number one right here and number two right there and accepted them. I reassigned these values to my number one and my number two and I ran my calculation. So let's do that with set uh, public void set difference. Same thing, int number one, int number two, so we say my number one equals number one, my number two equals number two, and difference equals my number one minus my number two. And for a last one, public void set product. So product is a multiplication. So same thing here. Got to pass in that. Run our assign our reset our variables, and we'll say product is equal to my number one times my number two. Okay, um, let's go back here. So if I run this right now, nothing displays or happens. Let, let me show you. The information gets set in the background, but you don't get to see it. So 10 and 5, and then it's done. So how do you display the answers? Well, you need to get the sum, difference, and product back. So you would say my, no, you would say system.out.println. Uh, sum plus my sum difference product dot get sum. Come on, get some. <laughs> so, so then right here, and I'm just going to do some copying and pasting because, again, I don't like typing that much. So this would be difference. And you'll say get difference and final one product and we'll say get product okay you have errors right here because we haven't we haven't returned these yet and created them so we will say public int get sum now remember up here, these are void because there's no return statement anywhere in these methods. 
this one is going to return a int data type, which is sum. Sum is an int. So I can say return sum. Okay, next up, public int get difference. Return difference. And public int get product return product. Okay, so again, we ran our each this set it, it's a mutator, something changes. Uh, specifically, there's an equal symbol right here, and so it's setting information. So something in here is changing. This is what's changing. Sum is being calculated. Difference is being calculated. Product is being calculated. Those are our mutator methods. These are accessors. They're getting information. So sum gets returned back right there. Difference, the variable difference, gets returned back right here. And product gets returned back, and it gets returned back, you know, right there. So let's run some calculations. And again, sorry about how tiny the screen is, but let's say uh, 10 and 5. That's a good one. So 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 10 times 5 is 50. Okay, um, and we could do this. Let's try it with 5 and 10. So 5 and 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. 5 minus 10 is negative 5. And 5 times 10 is 50. Okay, so I know the calculations work. All right. So again, you know, once you figure out your scanner, you can enter information in. You can set your variables. Okay, you're going to have to pass in number one and number two. Now, again, these are number one and number two are the independent variables. Okay, the dependent variables are what you're calculating for. So sum is a dependent. It's dependent on whatever my number one and my number two is. Difference is a dependent variable, and so is product. Okay. So, so for like all these calculations, you're asking the user to enter in certain information and then you're passing that information into what you want to calculate. In this case, sum. In this case, difference. In this case, product. And so you run your calculations and then you get the answers to the calculations that you ran, okay? And that's what we did with get sum, get difference, get product, okay? So... Uh, this video is done.